Welcome back to the channel and to another tutorial. Um, today we are going to be creating a short icon. Uh, this is very simple. Um, as we move on with this channel, we're going to create more complicated tutorials, but obviously we got to start off with the, you know, the basic stuff. So let's get on with it. Click and hold, grab the ellipse tool, hold shift and alt as you drag this out. This will make sure it's, um, proportional something like that i'm gonna give it some fill let's turn off the stroke there we go let's put it right here okay all right so i'm gonna change the color to some very light gray i'm gonna duplicate this Control j Control t to transform make sure you're holding shift and alt this is going to be the inner part just like that now you want to grab the rectangle tool and just make a rectangle like this it should be fine put on the fill turn off the stroke i'm going to change the color to kind of like an orange it can maybe go brown it doesn't really matter um Control t right click and warp now you want to go for inflate and just bring this all the way up just like that as you can see, control T, right click, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. All right, and we're just gonna put this behind everything. Scale this down, same thing. Just put this right here. Let's make this a little smaller. All right, we could rasterize this layer, so go right click and rasterize. Keep this in mind, if you rasterize a layer and you enlarge it, it's going to become pixelated so here is the difference this is not rasterized so if i enlarge this it remains um a sharp so one thing you could do is you could turn this into a smart object so if you go here and you go to convert to smart object so if you want you could just keep a backup copy just hide it but i am not going to do that so now that we have this i'm going to rasterize it just cut off the top with the rectangular marquee tool and just like that now we're going to make now we're going to make the handlebar so grab your rounded rectangle tool bring this up to 10 i think that works uh yeah that should probably work i'm just gonna do a shape like this the same thing i should probably adjust that later um control t right click warp and this time you're gonna want to do arc just arc it something like this make this change the color of this just like that now we are going to move on to the actual blade part so make a new layer i'm gonna drag out a ruler if you don't have rulers just hit ctrl r it should bring it up and now we're going to make the blade so i'm gonna start off from probably over here and just go go up and do a path and go up right here it's gonna go up and like that i'm gonna bring it down hit shape go here to change these settings Control j Control c i'm gonna flip it around now I can merge these two together. Um, this is actually way too small, so I'll just make this a lot bigger first. All right, that should be fine. Control E, it's going to bring it together. We're also gonna change the color on this. So I'm gonna do something like, uh, I'm gonna do like a, a gray color. This should work out fine. All right, now we are going to get on with the shading. I guess I'm gonna start off with uh, the sword. So grab your pencil, make a new layer, and hold Alt and click here. It's going to clip it in. I'm gonna start up top. Um, do Control X to bring up the guidelines. I'm just gonna click and drag. Just go down. Hit shape. All right, now that I have this, I can make this darker so something like that now i'm going to do another layer just right below this one and i'm gonna do 
like this shape creates a layer underneath this um, shadow right here and uh, I'm gonna use the ellipse tool I'm just gonna drag just like that change the color to white that should be fine bring the opacity down and uh, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make another shape right here it's shape just make this completely white all right got some shading on the sword um highlights and shadows like that it's right there um for the handle probably do a shadow here like that use your pencil and just curve it around should be fine hit shape all right now I'm going to make a new layer and just use your rectangle tool to make some black boxes I'm gonna clip this in tilt it and just over the opacity something like that and um, just make some white rectangles right find the blade right here and also do this if you want to make it extra shiny just like that um so yeah it's very basic how to create a sword icon you could use this in a user interface a logo let's say uh, the word knight in it i could just delete this and put this over here that looks pretty cool so um yeah if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you leave a like. Check out our website at robustvisuals.com. We have a lot of free templates and also a lot of products that you could check out. So, um, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Check out robloxvisuals.com for the latest Roblox graphics templates. We have just added some new FPS shooter UI templates, some full simulator UI sets. Check it out and use code YT for 15% off all purchases.